In this video, we'll learn to calculate perimeters and areas of triangles. So what does perimeter mean? Perimeter is the rim. So going around the shape and adding all these sides. So 53, 60 and 80. That equals 193 millimeters. Now we've got this other triangle. So we have five and five and five, which is 15 centimeters. So we had the same units, centimeters, but if we had different units, let's say a mixture of centimeters and millimeters, we need to convert those units first before we do any calculation so we've got now eight and three point two and five point five so that gives us sixteen point seven the unit is meters finally we have this triangle here so we follow the same procedure. We have 3.8, add 3.8, add 5.5. That equals 13.1 centimetres. So working out the perimeter is quite straightforward. It's going around the shape, adding all of the dimensions or the lengths or the sides. Now we'll look at area. Now rather than giving you the formula for the area of the triangle, we will derive it together. So I'm going to use some post-its to help me with this. So I have a rectangle, which you know the formula for its area, which is length times width. And this rectangle I'm holding has the same length and width as the triangle. So I'm going to fold it in half and you will see that this is equal to this. I'm going to cut it now. I'm not being very precise. This is just to demonstrate. And you'll see that we have two identical triangles. So the area of the triangle is half the area of the rectangle with the same length and width. I could just multiply the 60 by 53 and then divided into two parts. So this means that I could multiply 60 by 53 and then divide it by two to get the area of the triangle. So 53 times 60, that is equal to 3180 and we'll divide that by 2 which gives us 1590 millimeters squared the same thing is applied with the other triangle so I'm going to very quickly demonstrate again and we have this rectangle which has the same length and the same height so we'll cut it quickly so that we can see that that would make two triangles so this would be the same as this and the other triangle is made 
using these two parts. So putting this on top, it shows that they are of equal size. So the same thing, again, you'd have to get the length, which is equal to 5 times the height so this is really important this is not the height this is not the height it's this one here which is perpendicular to the base or what i call the length because it related to the rectangle so you at this level you're not required to work it out using any other formula all you have to do is measure it so by measuring it you'd get 4.3 so 5 times 4.3 and then divide that by 2 to give us 10.75 centimeters squared following on with the next triangle so you'd have you've got this as the base although it's upside down it does not matter and we can draw a perpendicular line with the base to make the height so we measure it using a ruler and this is approximately 1.7 meters that would be this was centimeters so i will go eight times 1.7 divided by two that gives us 6.8 meters squared. Now, of course, this is not actual meters. So the drawing is not to scale. Same thing with the other one. We've got the base. We've got to get the height. So there'd be a right angle here and this is approximately 2.7 centimeters so i go 5.5 times 2.7 divided by 2 to give us 7.425 centimeters squared same thing as with the perimeters you need to make sure you have the same units before you proceed with the calculations and the thing to remember is that we always have squared so the unit squared when you work out the area so it's like finding how many little squares would fit in there of one millimeter long and one millimeter wide or how many of those squares which are one centimeter long and one centimeter wide would fit into the area 